Hey, Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and today I want to go over one of the easiest ways to score points, and that's the off-ball backdoor cut. All right, so no doubt about it, the easiest way to score points is either with layups or dunks or finishes by the rim. And setting up a backdoor cut is one of the best ways to get a really nice look going towards the rim. Backdoor cuts are also awesome because not only do you get an easy bucket out of the deal, but it also keeps the defense honest and opens up the rest of your offensive game. So here's a couple of easy tips to setting up your cut and getting that wide open look off the back cut. All right, so the first and probably most important aspect is setting up your cut. If you just try to back cut right away, a lot of times the defender is gonna stick with you. But instead, if you try to set your cut up first, meaning you go the opposite direction, direction before back cutting, you're going to be that much more wide open. Watch on each one of these clips how the offensive player moves the defender away from the hoop first before cutting quickly back towards the basket. Playing basketball is a lot like chess. You have to think about your moves in advance. So these players are setting up their cuts away from the basket. That way the defender bites. A great way to read if you're open for a backdoor cut is if your defender is playing you really, really tightly and they're trying to deny you the ball in the initial pass. The second most important key to remember is your timing. You don't want to do your cut too early or too late. You want to do it at just the right time to know that the ball handler can get you the basketball. One great way to make sure that you're timing your back cut perfectly is to watch the passer's eyes and make sure you can make a little bit of eye contact before you begin your cut. If you can't see their eyes or their heads turn, odds are that you're cutting a little bit too early and you're going to want to wait for just a second. So number one, just make sure you're setting your cut up. And number two, make sure you're timing your cut correctly. All right, if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button and then head to the comment section down below and let me know what sort of breakdown you want to see next. This is a channel for the people by the people, so let me know what you want to see. And if you're new to shop mechanics, you're going to want to do two things. Number one, hit that subscription button because we put out a ton of videos every week and they're all going to get you better. Number two, you're going to want to click the button in the upper right-hand corner or the link in the description to get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This scoring workout is going to change the way you think about your training, so I highly recommend you check that out. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shop Mechanics Basketball. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, splash on.